a cutting the umbilical cord. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now with new information why it matters so much in the lives of babies. Liz. Hey guys, good afternoon. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecologists has just issued these new guidelines talking about, of course, cutting the cord. It takes the standard immediate or short-term clamping or cutting away, and it suggests that we wait a little bit longer before cutting the cord. The medical team and some beautiful new moms in the labor and delivery unit at UC Health we talk to say they agree, and it appears after years of research, this delay does benefit a baby without putting a new mother at risk. Little baby Elizabeth is barely seven hours old, but already new guidelines for her birth might have given her a tiny head start in life, literally. So the new guidelines give us um, key information about how we should care for all vigorously born infants in the first 30 to 60 seconds of life that we should delay clamping of the umbilical cord during that time frame. This is a change from a quick clamp off immediately after birth, which was done to reduce bleeding risks to the mother. But since medications for that complication have changed over the years, these new guidelines reflect what Dr. Amy Thompson says is the start of what's called the golden hour right after birth. So we know that the first one to three minutes is when a lot of the blood is still being received by the newborn from the placenta. Um, most of it is happening though within that first minute. She points out that this is simply an extension of much of what's been done in premature babies for quite a while. But we're learning now more about these healthy, vigorous babies and perhaps how this could make a difference in one specific nutrient. By receiving that extra blood from the placenta, the baby actually will have decreased risk of newborn um, iron deficiency. You see, iron is critical to carrying oxygen in a baby's body to where it needs to go. As well as for cognitive or brain development, motor development, and just other good developmental outcomes. Outcomes that can make a big difference in a healthy future for baby Elizabeth and proof that for all babies, seconds and minutes really do count. Now it is important to point out, uh, point out, Dr. Thompson says that both the mother and the baby need to be in good health for this suggestion to be a good idea. The general rule right now is at least 60 seconds that you wait. In some cases it could go a bit longer if the mother requests that. But it's also important that it doesn't disrupt other things that are checked out right away, such as breathing for a baby or what they call that immediate skin to skin contact. It's suggested, of course, as soon as mom has the baby, the baby gets that contact.